Hello and welcome to your in-depth weekly horoscope for week commencing the 10th of April for the Sun or the Ascendant. I'm going to give you a collective overview that we can all relate to, but please stay with me as I explore each of the 12 zodiac signs from Aries through to Pisces in much greater detail. If you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for joining me once more. If you're new here, it's great to have you with us. This is very much a community, so please share any thoughts you have. And I'd be honoured if you would subscribe to the channel. So please click or tap on the bell notification symbol. However, if you would like to understand how more serious astrology can play a role in your life and your decision making, if you do give me three pieces of personal birth data, of time, date and place of birth, I can prepare for you your life roadmap report. This will help you to get a much more intimate understanding of the patterns that have played out so far, but how you can overcome the challenging ones and seize the more positive ones more firmly. Also, in my special package of 30% off, you can get your 12 month personal forecast, totally unique to you. Now, please see below for more on that, but if you don't know your time, if you can give me your date of birth and your place of birth, I can produce your solar chart. This won't have an ascendant. It assumes the moon at midday. But if you really enjoy my YouTube videos, you can align it with your sun sign really well. And again, the special offer applies to that too. Again, please see below for more. Now, this week begins with the Sun racing towards an exact conjunction with Jupiter in the sign of Aries. Now this is one of the best aspects you can possibly have in astrology. The Sun of course is about our raw energy and our desire to achieve things but Jupiter is very much about expansion and it's about optimism and it can in traditional astrology be linked to fortune. When we put the two together in the first zodiac sign of Aries, we're talking about the fire of that sign sparking greater confidence, momentum, thrust. So a lot of excitement reaches a peak on Tuesday. They're still going to be allied to one another really well right through this week. But if there is something you want to inject with fresh energy, this is a great time to do so. However, this can be a complex week for relationships. Because Venus also moves on Tuesday into the sign of Gemini, where it's very flirty, very sociable, great for mixing and mingling, or even sending those cheeky text messages. But it forges a very profound link with Pluto for the rest of the week. So I feel that there can be conversations, because both are in air signs, which can help us to really understand who's really in our corner. But conversely, Stern Saturn, very much to do with restrictions, is forging a tense right angle to Venus. So if there are any relationships in your world which aren't working very well, I think this is a week that's going to flag them up, despite the innate positivity of the Sun's conjunction with Jupiter. But there is another irony, because the North Node, obviously mainly usually reversing, forges a very stable link with Saturn. So if we've done something in the past which has been a good deed, we've helped someone, uh, we've really invested in some way, perhaps even been generous around our resources, I think something can come back to us in a positive way. But the quarter moon which occurs on Thursday is in the sign of Capricorn. So those relationship snags may be around professional ties as much as personal ones. Jupiter's involved in that event too. So that's telling. And it's asking us really to stay grounded. For example, if we felt we had such a super duper idea and we really felt that everyone should be just in awe of its magnificence, the chances are that somebody in a position of influence, someone who's been around a bit longer, uh, someone who's quite experienced, who could be important to the next phase of the development of this, whether it's the bank manager, a business advisor, an investor, uh, someone in the family, or perhaps even a boss, uh, it's important to keep those more traditional people on side. So we need to make sure that 
anything we are promising we can deliver on in a meaningful and tangible way which is very Capricorn however by the end of this week Mercury does just edge forwards uh, although it is uh, slowing down ready for its retrograde which begins next week into a conjunction with Uranus so some kind of innovation or unusual idea around how to use our resources could manifest itself as this week draws to a close. But please stay with me as I go through each of the 12 zodiac signs from Aries through to Pisces. So Aquarius, your week commences in the 10th of April forecast, really has some rich promise woven through it. Not least that Venus is moving into the most playful, gregarious, even flirty part of your situation. Certainly a very social one, but links in a very powerful way to Pluto in your sign. If your sun is very much at the front end of Aquarius, this could really bring some fascinating possibilities, perhaps around your talent particularly with the Sun combining with Jupiter on Tuesday too, because your powers of communication can be very strong, but also it's the message uh, can be very important too. I feel that you can be quite an idealistic person at times. Yes, you can be very down to earth and irreverent and a bit quirky in your approach, but if there's some message that you want to convey this week, a mixture of passion, uh, charm, but also persuasion and no little talent can really per per percolate out and get to someone that is important to reach. Now, of course, Saturn, your traditional ruler, does forge a bit of a bruising right angle to Venus. What's that about? Well, if you're in a relationship and you and your partner do see a fi the financial side of things a little differently, or perhaps there's even a clash of values, it could be revealed. But I feel if you can talk things through, but most importantly, listen to where each person is coming from, that can be very valuable. Actually, the North Node in your sector of home and emotion forges a very stable link with Saturn. Saturn, uh, therefore, can come back to you in a more positive way as this week develops. The quarter moon, however, that occurs on Thursday, it does just suggest be careful what you say and who you say it to. A careless comment or just opening up a bit to someone you don't know very well, someone could seize on a juicy tidbit and be more than happy to share that around. However, as the week draws to a close, that issue that has been really to the fore for Aquarius folks for the last couple of years, if you are feeling unsettled in where you're living, there's going to be a lot of talk, a lot of conversation, and perhaps a lot of um, to and in fro in in terms of your decision making as the week draws to a close, but you're definitely being stimulated to find some solutions if you're not that comfortable in your current abode or with your current emotional setup. So I feel that you could find that more outspoken side of your nature come into the fore as this week draws to a close.